Oh, Karen here. Today is part two of what to do with those AI images now that we've generated them. Now, what we're going to end up with is something along this lines. Now, you can do whatever shape, size, nesting dies you have, but this is kind of where we're headed. So what I want to do is I want to shrink myself down here in the corner, and I'm going to go over to the folder on my computer, not completely gone, where I have saved the AI pictures. Now, I did have to go back and do a couple more pictures and I did have a little bit of fun playing with some other ones um, because I realized in the background it misspelled happy birthday so when you use AI pictures you do need to check the spelling because sometimes it goes a little weird and also make sure that things like arms and legs and all that are connected the way they're supposed to and there isn't something odd in the background because sometimes it does give you something a little odd so I went back and did some more pictures and this is what I en ended up with over here, all these pictures over here. Um, I do have some other ones that were kind of fun that I'll show you at the end if I have time. So what we're going to do now is we need to do something with these. So I'm going to use Word. Now, if you have a machine like a Cameo or a Cricut, absolutely upload them like you would any other JPEG into your machine. Use them like you would there. But what I'm going to do today is, is for people that don't have those machines and don't use them, use Word and it will work exactly the same way. So let me switch over here to my Word folder, my screen here. I've got like four screens open on my computer right now. So let me move this over so we can see it. So this is your Word document. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and I am going to come over here to insert, insert picture from this device and it's going to bring me over to where I saved the pictures. Now if you left them in your download folder, just go to your download folder. So mine are over here under Crafty Things, AI Pictures, and I have a folder called Birthday, since I did play with some other things. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick something. Let's pick this little boy here, because I, I kind of like him. With his little five on his cake, he's got a white background, so let's use that first. So we're going to insert that into Word. Now, kind of like I've done with other programs, we have to come over here to Layout Options, and I'm going to put him to where he's in front of the text. And the only reason why I'm doing that is now it gives me the ability to move him around the screen. So now I can take him up to where these rulers are up here, and this picture is like six and a half inches big, and that is way too big for our purposes. Whoop, don't want to do it that way. Let me grab the corner here. And I want to bring him down to about three inches because that's how big the nesting die I have that I want to use is. So I'm going to bring him up here to where we start at the zero. Let me put my glasses on. You're going to get a glare, but I'll be able to see. So we have, we're have over here at the zero, and here's three. So I want this to be just past three. That's probably pretty good. So I'm going to leave this here. And this is a happy birthday one that I did play with, and I think I may make one out of that one too. So let me take one of the rectangle ones. So if you don't have a nesting die and you're just going to cut it out, you can cut it out in any shape you want. So let me come back up here to insert, back to pictures again, this device. It will go back to the folder you were just in, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to pick one of these, the rectangle one I have here, of this little girl with a five balloon and some people behind her. I'm going to take that one too. So this one I want to bring down to probably about four inches. So once again, I am going to click on the layout. I'm going to put her in front of the text, which now brings her to the front. And I can now move her around the screen. So I'm going to ease it up here. And I'm going to bring this down to probably, let's see, that's three and a half. So that should be about three and a quarter. That should be about right. So I'm going to put this down here. All right, so now I have the three pictures. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. All three pictures. All right. So now we have the little boy, we have the happy birthday, and the little girl with the five balloon. So I'm going to scoot this down a little bit and scoot this over here so we have a little bit more space. And let me move this over. All right, that's good. All right, so let me print these out. So I'm going to go over to print. I'm going to pick the printer I have, which is my Epson. I'm going to hit print. 
It may take it a minute because it's not awake. There we go. It's coming. Yeah, so the AI, while we're waiting for that to print out, let me show you what I did. I'm going to come over here to AI Pictures, Craft Pictures. Move this out of the way. So we're done with Word. And I asked it to draw a picture of a lady in front in, on a pile of craft supplies. And these are all the pictures I ended up with. It was kind of fun. And I may have gone a little nuts. And I have all these pictures. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I do have them. All right, that is just about printed. So let me grab that out of my printer. Let me make my picture big again. All right, so here's what we have. It printed out in Word. And now let me put on the overhead camera and I will show you what we're going to do with these. All right, so here's the three pictures that came out of the printer. And I have two nesting dies. The smaller one is just shy of three inches. And then this one was the next size up that I had. And these are both stitched, but you can use anything that you have. So I'm going to grab some tape. Let's move this down here. I'm going to take the smaller die. And I'm going to line it up to where I want to cut it. I definitely want the cake. I want a little bit of the present here, so I may cut off a little bit of the hat. So I think that looks good. So I'm going to put some tape on here. And I'm going to grab my scissors. And I'm going to cut this away because all I really need is this right now. Alright, now I will run this through my machine, and I'm also going to use as a layer for this is this light blue mirror card that I have. So I'm going to cut this off for what I need. Put that to the side, I'm going to tape this down. One on each side so it doesn't move. And I'm going to run these through my machine. Alright, so I've run these through my machine. Put the tape back over here so I can use it again later. So now I have my circle. I have a slightly bigger circle in the mirror card. Alright, so now this can layer like this. So let me grab some foam. Now I think for this one I'm just going to use the 1 16th foam. You absolutely could use the 1 8th foam. It would give you a little bit more distance or height I should say, but I'm not sure where this thing is going to finally live on which card, so I'm going to leave it this way. I'll we'll put some foam on here and peel the foam backing off. Now I will line this up. straight down on this. Alright, that looks pretty straight. And press down. So now you have this really nice topper you can use on any card. Now I do have a little happy birthday that I cut out. And what you can do is, so now I have paper. This is uh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So that makes this four and a half by six and a half. And then you could just put this on here with the happy birthday and your card front is done. It's that simple. Now this print paper here is Kingston paper and that's the one that has the bigger print on the back and the smaller on the other side. So this could just go on here like this. And I think we'll do that. Alright, so I have some glue and some 1 16th foam again but it's, it's skinnier than the other foam that I have because this one is I want to say it's a half an inch. Yeah, this foam is a half an inch wide, but this one is a sixteenth an inch wide. I used so much foam, I decided to uh, keep both. So let's glue down this first. Let's see, do I want to put any ink on this? No, I think I'll leave it the way it is. 
and big or small. Let's see. You know what? Maybe the bigger print. I think I like the bigger print. All right, we'll go bigger print. My glue bottle here is almost empty. I have to go grab another one. This on here in the middle. All right, I'm thinking that will go about there, and this will go about here. I think that will be cute. All right, so let's put some of the thin 1 16th foam on the back of this happy birthday. Here, snip that. All right, let's see the bottom. I think I'm gonna put it on the bottom. All right, so let me glue this down first. Spread that out a little bit, and let's put that about here. Peel the backing off. And we'll put that about here. Kind of a clean and simple card. But there you go. Happy birthday. Fifth birthday card. Got a little boy. Got it on there. And this is ready to go on any 5x7 card base you want. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on a Z fold or what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to leave it at this point. So now let's go over to the square one. So this one to me looks more unisex, so I'm going to make this, try to make it look a little bit more manly. So I'm going to cut this out with my trimmer. All right, so I'm going to start down here, and I'm just going to cut this off. Just so we only have the one piece to deal with here. And I am going to line this up best I can. Trim off the edge. Now here, if you wanted to leave a little white border around it, you absolutely could. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to continue to trim off this white. Now this is going to end up being, I'm going to measure it here in a second. Let's see, one more side. Cut that piece off. And let me bring it up here and measure it. And this is just shy. It is two and seven eighths. So I'm going to make my bigger square three and an eighth. Maybe we'll go a little bigger. Maybe we'll go a little bigger. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go three and a quarter. So once again, I'm gonna take the blue and let's see if I have three and a quarter. I am gonna cut three and a quarter. Three and a quarter the other way. This should be a square. And then I end up with a border that's a little bit bigger. Now at this point, you could take this, run it through an embossing folder, give it a little bit more texture if you wanted to. But that will be like this. All right, let's clear this mess away and attach that. So I think for this one, I will put the 1 8 foam on just so you can see the difference. So we'll take some of the 1 8 thick foam and we'll put this across the back. May need to order some more of this soon. We'll put that here and we'll put this piece over here. There we go. Peel the backings off all this. And we'll take the blue and line it up. That 
looks centered. Press down. All right, now we can look at the difference between the two. This one, oh, let me turn it that way, is the 1 16th. Here, I'll take this one without the paper on it. The 1 16th. It will go up here. This way, and this is the 1 8th. So it gives you a little bit more height. But it's up to you, personal preference. There's a lot of personal preference in card, and card making, and uh, there's really no wrong way to do anything. So this obviously already says happy birthday, so we don't need a sentiment for that. So I was thinking the wood grain pattern out of that same monotone paper from Kingston Craft. And I am going to put this here. And this is craft card. So once again, I went with four and a half by six and a half, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I'm going to put this on here. And then this will just go in the center. And I think that might be all it needs. I might stick a couple gems on there. But that's it. So let's glue this down. Right, let's see. Do we want the big or the little print? There's the little print. And here's the big print. I think I'm going to go with the big print. You know, when I first got this, I thought I would use more of the little print. And I am finding myself using a lot more of the big print. I'm just nice. There's, I'm just glad there's a choice there that you can uh, do whatever you want. All right, so we'll put this on the craft card. Put that in the center. Get that back in the center. Wipe off that glue. And we'll take our happy birthday and put some glue on the back of this. And we'll put this in the center. And I think that is all that needs. And now this one is also ready to go on either a Z fold, regular fold, tent fold, whatever I decide to do with it. It is ready to go. So there it is. And here's the other one that I made. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, because that's how YouTube counts everything. And I hope definitely go in there and try. You know, go into bing.com, go under Copilot, and type in what you want, because uh, you can come up with some really funny pictures and some really nice ones that you can use for those times, you know, you can't find something that, you know, exactly fits the kind of cards you're making. And until next time, stay crafty.